There's some straw bales. You can sit at the front of the stage. Uh, my name's John Bryant. Uh, I'm going to sort of just uh, MC our way through the farm dedication. And I want to thank you guys all for being out here. And uh, now I'll introduce our general manager, Bruce Fligger. Here's Bruce. Thank you, John. And, uh, thank you all for coming. This is wonderful. We were, uh, um, we were here early this morning, <laughs> finishing touches. Uh, it was raining hard, and uh, we were wondering what kind of turnout we were going to get. And as soon as the sun popped out, it was like you guys sprang out of the ground. It was, uh, it was wonderful and very uh, uh, a unique experience for me. I turned around and looked, and there are a lot of people here, which is really wonderful. Uh, what, what you see before you is a uh, 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 almost a blank slate. Uh, Sean and his crew, is, they've done a wonderful job. They've come such a long way in such a short period of time. Uh, and it, it's, been, it's, it's been a collaborative effort, a cooperative effort. I, I was thinking this morning it was raining, and, and I thought of a, an expression my grandmother and probably a lot of your grandmothers have used over the years. When someone would complain about the rain, my grandmother would always say, well, it's good for the farmers. And uh, thinking about the farmers uh, is what got us here today. Thinking about farming, sustainable agriculture, uh, community building, uh, local uh, food sourcing, uh, local economy, uh, all of those things. And they've become uh, catchphrases these days. Uh, and that's a good thing. People are beginning to understand how important that is. Part of my duty here and, and my privilege here is to thank some of the people uh, working with the city of Roanoke, uh, I want to start there. Uh, they were wonderful. I, I can't say enough about uh, uh, the, the collaborative effort that we had together. We really have a robust uh, governance system in the city of Roanoke, and I can attest to that. Uh, Mayor Bowers, uh, the, the council members, uh, our new city manager, uh, his staff, uh, Chris Chittum uh, was, was, took point on this. Uh, Brian Townsend uh, was right there with us the whole way. Um, it's, it, it was an amazing process for us. Uh, good governance all around uh, in, in this project with the city and, and our cooperative. Uh, our neighbors have been great. Uh, our board of directors, uh, your board of directors, the people that, that most of you here, that if you're an owner, uh, you've elected them to represent you. They also have been amazing during this process. And my staff. I can't thank my staff enough. I think I'll leave it there. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you for coming. Uh, this is a start to something great. Thank you, Bruce. Uh, I'd like to welcome Sean Jordan up to the stage to say a, a few um, words about the farm. Come on up, Sean. Thank you. <clears throat> it's a recent phenomena that uh, people clap for farmers. <laughs> uh, Henry David Thoreau wrote a book. But not that book. It was a different book. And uh, he was trying to describe where trees came from. You know, how does a forest happen? And in it, he wrote something that has stuck with me. Convince me only that a seed is present, and I'm willing to believe anything, for I have faith in a seed. We have the seed of a farm here. We've begun. We've actually begun today because a farm without a community present is a sterile thing. But we have a seed. What we anticipate, what we hope for, what all of you have been so generous in supporting, is growing that seed. I'm looking forward to the future on this land, and I don't believe this will be our last farm. But for today, Let's focus here, not only on the ground, not only on the chickens and the bees, but on this group that has made this possible. We have a seed, and I have faith in a seed. Thank you.
Thank you, Sean. Uh, I'd like to welcome up next uh, Bob Capper, Vice President from uh, Roanoke Natural Foods Co-op's Board of Directors. Bob. speech I hope you don't mind that I read. On behalf of the Board of Directors of Roanoke Natural Foods, I'd like to echo the sentiments of Bruce and Sean and give a warm welcome to all of our guests. At 25 acres, all within the city of Roanoke, Heritage Point is, as far as we know, the largest contiguous urban farm in the United States. Today, we dedicate Heritage Point, our cooperative urban farm, to the owners of Roanoke Natural Foods and to our community because this farm would not be possible without both. We'd like to thank our management and our staff for the support and this wonderful effort on this important day, both for Roanoke Natural Foods and the city of Roanoke. Uh, next, I'd like to welcome up our Congressman Bob Goodlap. Thanks, Bob. John, thank you very much. I serve as the Vice Chairman of the House Agriculture Committee. I once was the Chairman of the Committee. So it is great to be uh, in my hometown dedicating a new farm, uh, as you say, the largest contiguous urban farm in America. That's amazing. Roanoke has a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, things going on like that. But this facility is such an, an outstanding, it's, it's like a hidden oasis uh, in Roanoke here with these hills uh, hiding it from view from the, you really do feel like you're out on a farm somewhere rather than in uh, the largest city in the western part of Virginia. But I want to say <laughs> my hat's off to uh, everyone involved with the Roanoke Natural Foods Club for having the vision here. So uh, thank you all for coming out today. Uh, thank you for supporting uh, American agriculture and thank you for supporting local agriculture because that creates jobs right here in the district that I'm proud to represent. God bless each and every one of you. Um, Mayor Bowers, would you like to come up? Good morning everyone. How do you like the Heritage Point? Isn't this beautiful? This is a great fit to bring in urban farming. And so I want to commend our great city manager, Chris Morrow. It was his idea and his staff that really came to the city council and says, no, this is right. We are committed to urban farming here in Roanoke, Virginia, in the city, and this is a great site. And so I'm glad that my colleagues, Mr. Bespich, Mr. Ferris, and the other members of council uh, came along with this great idea. The 3,200 members who own this co-op should be very proud of your staff Sean and your group, your board of directors, and working with our staff and making all of this come true. And, and as uh, uh, Sean said, quoting uh, uh, Henry David Thoreau, uh, this is just a seed. This is just the beginning. Imagine what this can look like in five and ten years. So I commend you all. I thank you for working with us and, and making this a real community effort to bring urban farming uh, to our area. The show. Thank you guys so much for being a part of this farm dedication. Uh, please do have a walk around the farm, and also the market vendors will be set up here till noon or noon or past. So uh, buy some great local food and enjoy the rest of your day. Yeah.